The M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System M270 MLRS is an armored, self-propelled, multiple rocket launcher, a type of rocket artillery. Since the first M270s were delivered to the U.S. Army in 1983, the MLRS has been adopted by several NATO countries. Some 1,300 M270 systems have been manufactured in the United States and in Europe, along with more than 700,000 rockets. The production of the M270 ended in 2003, when a last batch was delivered to the Egyptian Army. Topic. Description Topic. Background In the early 1970s, the Soviet Union had a clear advantage over U.S. and NATO forces in terms of rocket artillery. Soviet tactics of bombardment by large numbers of truck-mounted MRLs, such as the BM-21, would saturate a target area with thousands of rockets, ensuring some would hit specific targets while delivering a psychological impact. By contrast, American artillerists favored cannon artillery for its relative accuracy and ammunition conservation over area fire rockets, and as a result were left with a small amount of WW2 vintage rocket artillery. This mindset began to change following the 1973 Yom Kippur War, which saw high loss rates, especially from rear area weapons like surface-to-air missiles SAMs, as well as the effective Israeli tactic of hitting such sites with MRLs. This combined with the realization that such an experience would happen on a larger scale in the event of war in Europe, the U.S. Army wrote a requirement for a new rocket launcher in March 1974 called the General Support Rocket System GSRS. It would be used to engage enemy air defenses and for counterbattery fire, freeing cannon units to provide close support for ground forces. NATO allies including the United Kingdom, France, and West Germany were consulted on the project, and since they had already been looking to create a similar system independently, their name for it was adopted, changing GSRS to MLRS. Development began in September 1977 by Boeing and Vought Aerospace, and first production models were delivered in August 1982. The first operational M270 battery was formed in March 1983, and the first unit was sent to West Germany that September. Originally, a battery consisted of three platoons with three launchers each for nine launchers per battery. By 1987, 25 MLRS batteries were in service. In the 1990s, a battery was reduced to six launchers. Topic. Overview MLRS was developed jointly by the United Kingdom, United States, West Germany, France and Italy, developed from the older General Support Rocket System GSRS. The M270 MLRS weapons system is collectively known as the M270 MLRS Self-Propelled Loader, Launcher SPLL. The SPLL is composed of three primary subsystems, the M269 Loader Launcher Module LLM, which also houses the Electronic Fire Control System, is mated to the M993 Carrier Vehicle. The M993 is a derivative of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle chassis. Cold War doctrine for the M270 was for the vehicles to spread out individually and hide until needed, then move to a firing position and launch their rockets, immediately move away to a reloading point, then move to a completely new hiding position near a different firing point. These shoot and scoot tactics were planned to avoid susceptibility to Soviet counterbattery fire. 
one M270 firing 12 M26 rockets would drop 7,728 bomblets, and one MLRS battery firing 108 rockets had the equivalent firepower of 33 battalions of cannon artillery. The system can fire rockets or MGM 140 ATACMS missiles, which are contained in interchangeable pods. Each pod contains six standard rockets or one guided ATACMS missile. The two types cannot be mixed. The LLM can hold two pods at a time, which are hand loaded using an integrated winch system. All 12 rockets or two ATACMS missiles can be fired in under a minute. One launcher firing 12 rockets can completely blanket one square kilometer with submunitions. For this reason, the MLRS is sometimes referred to as the grid square removal system. Metric maps are usually divided up into one kilometer grids, or informally among artillery personnel as the finger of God, since a single launcher can sanitize an entire grid square, which is about the size of a fingertip on a typical map. A typical MLRS cluster salvo consisted of three M270 vehicles each firing all 12 rockets. With each rocket containing 644 M77 grenades, the entire salvo would drop 23,184 grenades in the target area. However, with a 2% dud rate, that would leave approximately 400 undetonated bombs scattered over the area, which could endanger friendly troops and civilians. In 2006, MLRS was upgraded to fire guided rounds. Phase 1 testing of a guided unitary round XM31 was completed on an accelerated schedule in March 2006. Due to an urgent need statement, the guided unitary round was quickly fielded and used in action in Iraq. Lockheed Martin also received a contract to convert existing M30 DPICM GMLRS rockets to the XM31 unitary variant. The M31 GMLRS unitary rocket transformed the M270 into a point target artillery system for the first time. Due to GPS guidance and a single 200 pounds 91 kilograms high explosive warhead, the M31 could hit targets accurately with less chance of collateral damage while needing fewer rockets to be fired, reducing logistical requirements. The unitary warhead also made the MLRS able to be used in urban environments. The M31 had a dual-mode fuse with point detonation and delay options to defeat soft targets and lightly fortified bunkers respectively, with the upgraded M31A1 equipped with a multi-mode fuse adding a proximity airburst mode for use against personnel in the open. Proximity mode can be set for 3 or 10 meters 9.8 or 32.8 feet height of burst hob. The GMLRS has a minimum engagement range of 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, and can hit a target out to 70 kilometers, 43 miles, impacting at a speed of Mach 2.5. A German developmental artillery system called the Artillery Gun Module has used the MLRS chassis on its developmental vehicles. In 2012, a contract was issued to improve the armor of the M270s and improve the fire control to the standards of the HIMARS. In June 2015, the M270A1 conducted tests of firing rockets after upgrades from the improved Armored Cab project, which provides the vehicle with an enhanced armored cab and windows. Topic. Service history When first deployed with the U.S. Army, the MLRS was used in a composite battalion consisting of two batteries of traditional artillery howitzers and one battery of MLRS SPLLs self-propelled loader, launchers. The first operational organic or all MLRS 
Unit was 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery. The 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery was reactivated as the Army's first multiple launch rocket system (MLRS) battalion on the 1st of October 1984 and became known as the Proud Rockets. In March 1990, the unit deployed to White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico to conduct the initial operational test and evaluation of the Army Tactical Missile System. The success of the test provided the Army with a highly accurate, long-range fire support asset. <laughs> Gulf War On 2 September 1990, the 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery deployed to Saudi Arabia in support of Operation Desert Shield. Assigned to the 18th Airborne Corps Artillery, the unit played a critical role in the early defense of Saudi Arabia. As Desert Shield turned into Desert Storm, the battalion was the first U.S. field artillery unit to fire into Kuwait. Over the course of the war, the 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery provided timely and accurate rocket and missile fires for both U.S. Corps in the theater, the 82nd Airborne Division, the 6th French Light Armored Division, the 1st Armored, 1st Infantry Division, the 101st Airborne Division, and the 24th Infantry Division mechanized. A Battery 92nd Field Artillery MLRS was deployed to the Gulf War in 1990 from Feet, Hood, Texas. 327th FA MLRS out of Fort Bragg deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield in August 1990. A. 21st Field Artillery MLRS 1st Cavalry Division Artillery deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield in September 1990. In December 1990, a 40th Field Artillery MLRS 3rd Armored Division Artillery Hanau, 127th FA MLRS part of the 41st Field Artillery Brigade Babenhausen and 427th FA MLRS Wertheim deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield from their bases in Germany and 1 158th Field Artillery from the Oklahoma Army National Guard deployed in January 1991. 89 MLRS launchers were deployed during Operation Desert Storm. Its first use was on 18 January 1991, when Battery A of the 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery fired eight ATACMS missiles at Iraqi SAM sites. In one engagement, three MLRS batteries fired 287 rockets at 24 separate targets in less than five minutes, an amount that would have taken a cannon battalion over an hour to fire. In early February 1991, 4-27FA launched the biggest MLRS night fire mission in history, firing 312 rockets in a single mission. When ground operations began on 24 February 1991, 414 rockets were fired as the U.S. 7th Corps advanced. Out of the 57,000 artillery rounds fired by the end of the war, 6,000 were MLRS rockets plus 32 ATACMS. Other operations. The MLRS has since been used in numerous military engagements, including the 2003 invasion of Iraq. In March 2007, the British Ministry of Defence decided to send a troop of MLRS to support ongoing operations in Afghanistan's southern province of Helmand. They would use newly developed guided munitions. The first use of the GMLRS was in September 2005 in Iraq, when two rockets were fired in Tal Afar over 50 kilometers and hit insurgent strongholds, killing 48 fighters. In April 2011, the first modernized MLRS 2 and M31 GMLRS rocket were handed over to the German Army's Artillery School in Eder Oberstein. 
the German army operates the M31 rocket up to a range of 90 km. Topic: Versions. Right vehicle M270 is the original version, which carries a weapon load of 12 rockets in two six-pack launch pod containers. This armored, tracked mobile launcher uses a stretched Bradley chassis and has a high cross-country capability. M270 IPDS was an interim upgrade applied to a select number of launchers to provide the ability to fire the longer-range GPS-aided ATACMS Block IA, Quick Reaction Unitary and Block II missiles until sufficient M270A1 launchers were fielded. M270A1 was the result of a 2005 upgrade program for the U.S. Army, and later on for several other states. The launcher appears identical to M270, but incorporates an improved fire control system IFCS and an improved launcher mechanical system ILMS. This allows for significantly faster launch procedures and the firing of new types of munitions, including GPS-guided missiles. M270B1 is a British Army upgrade, similar to the A1, but it also includes an enhanced armor package, which gives the crew better protection against IED attacks. M270C1 was an upgrade proposal from Lockheed Martin involving HIMARS Universal Fire Control System UFCS instead of IFCS. MARS-2, LRU is a European upgrade of M270 involving Germany, Italy and France. MARS-2 is equipped with a new fire control system EFCS, European Fire Control System, designed par Airbus Defence and Space. EFCS enables firing of M31, M31A1, M32, AT2 and 110mm rockets, but not of M26, M26A1 and M30, so as to ensure full compliance with the Convention on Cluster Munitions. Topic: MLRS rockets and missiles. The M270 system can fire MLRS family of munition (MFOM) rockets and artillery missiles, which are manufactured and used by a number of platforms and countries. These include M26 United States rocket with 644M77 dual purpose improved conventional munitions DPICM submunitions range of 32 kilometers M26A1 United States extended range rocket air with range of 45 kilometers and 518M85 submunitions an improved version of the M77 DPICM submunition M26A2 United States as M26A1 but using M77 submunitions interim use until M85 submunition entered service ground launched small diameter bomb GLSDB Boeing is modifying the small diameter bomb with a rocket motor to be launched from ground based missile systems such as the M270 MLRS with the Army demilitarizing cluster munitions from M26 rockets, the company says a special adapter case could reuse the rocket to launch the SDB. M27 United States, completely inert training launch pod, container to allow full loading cycle training. M28 United States, training rocket. M26 with three ballast containers and three smoke marking containers in place of submunition payload. M28A1 United States reduced range practice rocket RRPR with blunt nose. Range reduced to 9 kilometers. XM29 United States rocket with sense and destroy armor SADARM submunitions not standardized. 
M30 United States guided MLRS GMLRS a precision guided rocket range over 60 kilometers with a standard load of 404 M85 submunitions M31 United States guided unitary MLRS Derivative of the M30 with a unitary high explosive warhead for use in urban and mountainous terrain, M31A1, United States, evolved version of M31. GMLRS ER, United States, extended range version increased to 150 kilometers, 93 miles, set to enter service in 2020. M32 Smart Germany, retrofit of M30 rocket by Deal Defense with four smart anti-tank submunitions and new flight software. Demonstrated but never ordered. M32 was not an official designation. AT-2 MLRS rocket Germany, SCATMIN rocket derived from M26 with 28 AT-2 mine anti-tank mines and range of 38 km 110 mm rocket Germany, explosive warhead 110 mm rocket from phased-out LARS-2 system reused for training purpose. It requires a training kit, which includes a specific six rocket pod. M39 MGM 140 United States Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS. A large guided missile using the M270 launcher with a variety of warheads. XM135 United States rocket with binary chemical warhead VX nerve agent. Not standardized. Topic: Reverse engineering. Turkey, in order to obtain M26 supply without USA consensus and because USA was reluctant to share technologies, started reverse engineering M26 rockets under Sage 227 project in order to have its own supply of rockets. During Sage 227 Project A, B, C, D medium-range composite fuel artillery rocket and Sage 227F experimental guided rocket were developed. Turkey PAR Sage 227F Turkey, experimental guided MLRS, GMLRS developed by TUBITAK Sage to replace the M26 rockets. Topic. Israeli rockets Israel developed its own rockets to be used in the Monadets, an upgraded version of the M270 MLRS. The rockets are developed and manufactured by EMI Systems. Israel Trajectory Corrected Rocket TCS RAMAM Israel In-flight trajectory corrected for enhanced accuracy. Israel Romic Israel GPS guided rocket with 35 kilometers 22 miles range 20 kilograms 44 pounds warhead and accuracy of less than 10 meters Israel Ryam Ethan Strong Thunder Israel, an improved version of the TCS RAMAM in-flight trajectory corrected for enhanced accuracy with significantly decreased percentage of duds. Topic: Selected rocket specifications. Caliber: 227 mm, 8.94 in. Length: 3.94 m, 12. 93 feet. Motor: Solid fuel rocket. Topic Alternative Warhead Program In April 2012, Lockheed Martin received a $79.4 million contract to develop a GMLRS incorporating an Alliant Tech Systems designed alternative warhead to replace DPICM cluster warheads. The AW version is designed as a drop in replacement with little modification needed to existing rockets. 
An engineering and manufacturing development EMD program was to last 36 months, with the alternative warhead GMLRS expected to enter service in late 2016. The A warhead is a large airburst fragmentation warhead that explodes 30 feet (9.1 meters) over a target area to disperse penetrating projectiles. Considerable damage is caused to a large area while leaving behind only solid metal penetrators and inert rocket fragments from a 90 kg warhead containing approximately 182,000 preformed tungsten fragments. On the 22nd of May 2013, Lockheed and ATK test fired a GMLRS rocket with a new cluster munition warhead developed under the Alternative Warhead Program AWP, aimed at producing a drop in replacement for DPICM bomblets in M30 guided rockets. It was fired by an M142H IMARS and traveled 35 kilometers, 22 miles before detonating. The AWP warhead will have equal or greater effect against materiel and personnel targets while leaving no unexploded ordnance behind. On the 23rd of October 2013, Lockheed conducted the third and final engineering development test flight of the GMLRS alternative warhead. Three rockets were fired from 17 kilometers, 11 miles away and destroyed their ground targets. The alternative warhead program then moved to production qualification testing. The fifth and final production qualification test PQT for the AGMLRS was conducted in April 2014, firing four rockets from a HIMARS at targets 65 kilometers (40 miles) away. On the 28th of July 2014, Lockheed successfully completed all developmental test, operational test (DTOT) flight tests for the AGMLRS. They were the first tests conducted with soldiers operating the fire control system, firing rockets at mid and long range from a HIMARS. The initial operational test and evaluation IOTNE exercise was to be conducted in fall 2014. On the 15th of September 2015, Lockheed received a contract for lot 10 production of the GMLRS unitary rocket, which includes the first order for A production. Topic M993 launcher specifications Entered service, 1982 U.S. Army First used in action, 1991 First Gulf War Crew, 3 Weight loaded, 24,756 kilograms Length, 6.86 meters 22 feet 6 in Width 2.97 meters, 9 feet 9 in. Height stowed 2.57 meters, 8 feet 5 in. Height max elevation not available. Max road speed 64 kilometers per hour. Cruise range 480 kilometers. Reload time 4 minutes M270, 3 minutes M270A1. Engine, turbo-charged V8 Cummins VTA 903 diesel 500 horsepower Veer 2. Cross-drive turbo transmission fully electronically controlled. Average unit cost, $2.3 million. Topic. Operators Topic. Current operators Egypt, Egyptian Army 48. Bahrain, Royal Bahraini Army 9. ATACMS Operational Finland, Finnish Army 22, called 298RS ROC 06 Upgraded to enable GMLRS and ATACMS, the rest 12 former Danish M270A1 are used for driver training only. France, French Army 13, called LRU Lance Roquette Unitaire. 
upgraded to GMLRS European standard. Germany, German Army 50 plus 202, called MARS-2 Middlerez Artillery Rakuten System. Upgraded to GMLRS European standard. Greece, Hellenic Army 36 ATACMS operational. Israel, Israel Defense Forces 64, called Monadets, Immense, Smasher. Italy, Italian Army 22, called MLRS Improved. Upgraded to GMLRS European Standard. Japan, Japan Ground Self-Defense Force 99. GMLRS and ATACMS Operational. Saudi Arabia, Armed Forces of Saudi Arabia 50, Royal Saudi Land Force Royal Artillery Corps. South Korea, Republic of Korea Army 5848M270s and 10M270A1s. ATACMS operational. Turkey, Turkish Army 12. United Kingdom, Royal Artillery 42, upgraded to M270B1, which is a 1 plus enhanced armor package. GLMRS operational. United States, United States Army 840 plus 151, 220 plus upgraded to M270A1. GLMRS and ATACMS operational. Topic. Former operators Denmark, Royal Danish Army no longer in service, sold to Finnish Army 12. Netherlands, Royal Netherlands Army out of service since 2004, sold to Finnish Army. Norway, Norwegian Army 12, in active service for only a couple of years before they were put in storage in 2005. United States, United States Marine Corps no longer in service, replaced by HIMARS. Topic. Potential future operators Lithuania, Lithuanian media announced Lithuania as possible operator Croatia, Croatia is in an advanced stage of negotiations for 16 systems for the Croatian Army, where they will replace the grad-based MLRS currently in use. Topic. Nicknames U.S. military operators refer to the M270 as the commander's personal shotgun or as battlefield buckshot. It is also commonly referred to as the gypsy wagon because crews store additional equipment, such as camouflage netting, cots, coolers, and personal items, on top of the vehicle as the launcher itself lacks adequate storage space for the crew. Within the British military, a common nickname is grid square removal system. A play on the initialism GSRS from the older General Support Rocket System. With the adoption of the new M30 GPS guided rocket, it is now being referred to as the 70 km sniper rifle. Topic. See also Multiple rocket launcher HIMARS LAR 160 M numbers Astros 2 MLRS <laughs>